guys, my name is Dennis and I'm a bike mechanic and uh, in this video I would like to speak a little bit about a Fat Ted e-bike. I had so much fun with that thing. 1000 motor, knee drive, Bafang, very, uh, very simple system. Uh, the whole bike is, uh, this is a, I must say, this is a quite a budget bike but it can deliver you so much fun so coming back Luna motor throttle controls display uh, shifting sensor 8-speed cassette which is uh, really good uh, the reason I say that is uh, this cassette is you can get it at a relatively low price versus 10 or 11 speed and the chain as well this chain is quite budget so in terms of maintenance and repair this trike won't cost you much this trike does not have high-end parts so will start squeaking making some noises but to be honest uh, I love this bike so much fun with that little thing actually it's not little it's a huge one so let me show what do we have on the bottom wire harness that's a gear uh, speed sensor battery and basically that's it oh and also what is also nice is that it has uh, full suspension and uh, tiny front suspensions here also springs those wheels since those are fat they can absorb way more side pressure there will be fat heads with the rear wheel motor hub also Befang, I think it's gonna be like 500 or 750 watts motor to be honest uh, I would stay with the mid-drive system why because mid-drive gives way more torque this bike honestly is not designed for speed it is designed for crawling and going over obstacles so let me take another lap and uh, see how it goes On my trip I met uh, four guys with a full suspension mountain bikes and they really never see anything like that. So they started watching and uh, taking pictures on the trike and meanwhile I looked at their uh, machines. So what do we have here? Giant, intense, nice. Yeti. Expensive uh, bike. The best. How much your bike? Uh, How much does this goes for? Seven grand. Nice. Then this is the low, uh, the low version. The 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 ten. So grand so is it's a, it's different for the Sima It's port. cheap. Yeah. In other words. That's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Six thousand is cheap. Oh. Yeah. The the ten grand is the Casima. Port. but it's the same same model but it's just it's more bling into it it's like copper yeah. here and the, the back and that's it mm -hmm. and that's 10 grand and this is the thing that you pay for it the infinity this is 
This is switch. Infinity? Yeah, infinity switch. Instead of like the way the way the tire bob in the back, instead of doing the arch, it just goes straight. So after a quick acquaintance we decided to keep rolling. At some point guys decided to dismount their bikes, but my tractor was able to crawl over all the rocks. Eventually I had to dismount as well to move the trike over the log lane across the trail. Uh, so let me give you some tips how to maintain your trike. I would do this as a routine operation. So, step number one, sit on the trike, grab, grab the brake and try to wiggle it. Uh, make sure that it's, nothing is moved. Uh, make sure that the uh, headset is tight. Sometimes it happens when you make a sharp turn or you need uh, you applying some extra force you can uh, tilt this uh, headset so this bolt may become loose and as a result uh, the, he the whole headset the whole stem will become loose and as you wiggle it you will feel especially here check brakes when checking brakes, make sure that uh, when applying uh, brakes, the rotor is not touching the outer wall, other wall of the brake caliper. The same thing on the other side, wiggling, checking, making, making sure that, that no parts are moving. And uh, this is, I would say, the first step. The second step would be raising the uh, rear wheel on some box uh, something I found a cone here and uh, checking gears make sure that all the gears are working fine without skipping as you're checking gears also check your chain especially uh, the mark to check uh, to take a closer look at the chain would be if you're riding and uh, from time to time you, you hear some clicking sounds, not very often, but you make sure you ensure that you're not shifting gears, but you hear some click click, means that the chain got damaged and you need to find that broken link. Otherwise, uh, you will lose the chain in the middle of the trip. And the third step, I would say, Tilting your trike on a side and uh, inspecting all the joints, uh, get a screwdriver wrench and uh, make sure that all the bolts are tight. And the last thing but not least is uh, making sure that front wheels are 
aligned. You can take measurement with a um, tape measure or there is a special rod with numbers uh, that you can stick in between and make sure that wheels are aligned. Also please make sure that those those nuts are tight, both of them, and this rod is not rotating. And that's it. This strike is it's time for me to pack and ship this strike.